Hello there, fellow Neopians. This is Neo Nanny coming at you. <laughs> um, I just thought that I would try to get on here and record for us older Neopians uh, that are a little bit slower at the game. <laughs> and also, um, I have an aged account and I know how to make Neo points. Just, just uh, getting on here and doing it nowadays. But uh, I thought that I would share with you some of the ways that I make Neo points. Um, I'm kind of losing out right now because uh, yesterday, and I know better than to do this, but I bought a whole bunch of those uh, leaded vials. I'll have to get them. Where is my gallery? I think I had it open. Nope, I do not. So, oh, well, while I'm on this page, let me introduce y'all to my pets. Um, I am a Yusuke lover, as you can see. And here comes my husband asking me. <laughs> Hold on, just... You can, uh, what is it? <laughs> yeah, I did. <laughs> I was eating a uh, Jiffy peanut butter, those little bitty... Uh, little bitty things of them that you can get the round ones and my little uh shih tzu ginger uh wanted some of it so i gave it to her and my husband was asking me about it he gets on to me for giving her table food but i do sneak her some every once in a while now this is who i'm playing with and i made for the uh plot and this is my gray fairy yusuke and this is her little pet pet gracie Looks so sad. Uh, and this is my rain. And I just love her. I just think she's so cute. And this is her little pet, pet Puddles. And this right here is Angel Yusuke doll. And this is her pet, pet guardian. And there's a story behind this. I was uh, diagnosed with cancer three years ago. And... Uh, they've gotten all of it. Um, I've done 17 months of chemo, 20 days of straight radiation. And that was a breeze compared to this chemo pill that I'm on now. I hate this pill. And I have to go back to the cancer center next week. I'll be up there for about three days. And I'm going to ask my doctor about coming off the pill. I just think... I'd like to see if I could go back to feeling, uh, you know, like I did before I was diagnosed. And I know I'll never get 100% back my health, but I have been bedridden here for a while, uh, which I've really got back into Neo because of this. This is all I have to do. <laughs> but anyway, uh, I'd love to... Uh, be able to get out of this bed and if going off the pill means that I could get back to where I could walk down to the beach go swimming do some of the stuff I used to love to do then I will take my chances I am uh, I have a really really I'm very spiritual I have my faith and that is what's gotten me through I will tell y'all that and it's gotten me through life up to this point. And I leave everything to chance. And I uh, always pray about it. And what is to come will come. No matter what. That's how I feel. So if I can get off this pill. And get a little bit healthier. I will just take my chances with the cancer. With that being said. Now I'll get back to it. But I made this. Um, and I made my gallery. Uh, which is way up high. Um, and, uh, it's kind of a mixture of the heavenly bodies and a mixture of, uh, the Wizard of Oz, just by the name, and I put the little song lyrics in it. And also, I have some categories, um, for my children, uh, Chelsea's, Chelsea by the Seashore, it's just my daughter Chelsea's, uh, little category, because she loves the beach, I've got a whole bunch of seashells and beach stuff in that. And Mason's Musings, which is 
for my son Mason, who is a gamer, uh, always has been, and uh, he also graduated in accounting, so um, I have his uh, some accounting stuff in there. And also, he was given a scholarship, I just realized this, to be a robotics engineer. And uh, he was given full scholarship and did it just a, a few quarters and decided that wasn't for him. And he switched over to accounting. And uh, then I have my two grandchildren, uh, Aiden's Autistic Arts and Preston's Pro Bowler. Preston is a football player, so he plays defense. I got little stuff in there for him. And then I got Aiden. He is my oldest grandbaby. And he was born with autism. And he has just a touch, but he plays the most beautiful music. And he has never been taught a day in his life anything. He plays by ear. And he is, if one day I could get him to let me record him, uh, you just would be amazed. The piano, I mean, he plays it all, and it is so good. And the guitar, he picked it up and played by ear, piano by ear. Um keyboards by ear and saxophone by ear now uh getting down here we'll get back to this i'm sorry y'all i'm getting off subject here uh this is baby honey foo -foo, and this is the little side bunny i made uh whenever we could make them on side bunny day and then right here i have beautiful bride doll this one is kind of uh i made in honor of my friend ash uh, she is psychosomatical, and she is engaged to David, who is Nahalia on here. And uh, they hadn't set a date yet, but I made the little thing. Just thinking about her, I made it. And then um, this is my butterfly kisses Yusuke, uh, which I just have switched over. I had the prettiest butterfly background, but with it being 4th of July last week, I wanted to do a little firework, so uh, I had that changed to the fireworks on the background and this right here is uh fun in the sun you soupy doll made for summer and she's just cute this is my illusion you soupy doll she's she will be permanent um and this is her little pet pet morty and this is Luxina, you silky doll, and I'm going to have her permanent. I just think she is the cutest thing. I need to add a little bit more makeup to her here, uh, but I hadn't decided what. And this is, I'm going to keep her permanent as well. This is Magical Girl, you silky doll, and I just love that background. Uh, and then this is her little Carmella Maggie. And this is uh, Mason West. This is in honor of my son, Mason. And as you'll see, his little accountant in the background. And then he's gaming. <laughs> and I, d I forgot what the name of his kitten is. His cat, uh, which she passed away. But uh, I just named this one Kitty. I'll have to ask him. He uh, He's 30 years old. My children are grown, so... Uh, but he just called me every week and always has. Uh, and uh, this is Pretty Miss Daisy May. And I had to experiment a little bit more with her. I just like the little daisies. So. And uh, this is Chelsea Doll. Now, this is in honor of my daughter, Chelsea. And I had a really pretty background, but she it's summertime. And this is exactly what she does. She goes to the... Um, and she's 36. But she never fails to go to that ocean and pick those seashells up. She just loves it. And then her dog's name is Luna. So this is little Luna. And then uh, this is my pet that I made right when I opened the account. This is Sherico. And Sherico is a Yusuke girl. And I'm fixing to buy Yusuke paintbrushes because I just love Yusuke girl. The only thing is you have to remove the hair. And some wigs will go on them, but uh, you do have to remove it to have certain wigs on there. And uh, I loved this background when it first come out, and I will always love this because it has all the fairies. And so I keep this as a permanent. Um, I may do some of those eyes, those. <laughs> uh, but, and then uh, this is my star fairy, Suki, and her little pet pet star. 
I'm not good at getting pet pets, as you can see. Some of them I made, you know, so it would. And this is um, the Yusuke doll. And I made her to uh, uh, do the unconverted. And uh, I just, I love that. Just simple, but I love it. And this is the Yusuke Princess, um, and I'm going to keep her permanent, too. And this is her little pet pet, Majestic. And let's see, let me go on down here. This here is the Yusuke Rose. And this is her little pet pet flower. Now, that's all my pets. Um, and now I forgot where I was going before I got started on this. <laughs> Okay, talking about my, oh, I was going to look in my gallery, that's right, to see. Uh, let me go to my gallery. I go to my lookup and click on from there. I just changed my lookup yesterday to clouds. I thought that was so pretty, I got out of San Diego. And then my shop is somewhere over the rainbow, way up high is my gallery. And if you go in here, You'll see there's Mason's Musings, all like that. But we're going to my for sale so I can see what... There it is, the Elated Elemental Vial. And I bought a whole bunch of these uh, yesterday for a million. And you get on here today and you put these things up and they're 600k and dropping. <laughs> oh yeah, they're dropping a few times. So I really lost out doing that. But what I'm going to do is hold on to these because... Uh, if I can make what they were when before this hit, Lord, I wouldn't have to worry about getting on here and restocking every day. My main goal on the pets is to be a billionaire, which is extremely hard to do. But when you're a billionaire, I think you get 400k in interest. Right now, if you go to my bank account, which I spent a lot yesterday buying those things up, um... I've already drawn my interest, but I get about 30-something thousand right now a day for that. And you really want to put all of your neopoints in here. Right now, I had this amount out and forgot to put it back in before I got off. So I'll have to do that tonight. Um, so now I'll go to uh, one of the main ways that I make money, neopoints, is that I restock daily. And I had a food shop, and I thought, you know, I want to get back in the mall. I was on the shop boards, and the nursery mall kept advertising their stuff. And let's see, grooming. I just started doing this. What is my grooming ending with? I think zero. Um, I'm trying to order by price because I want everything to be organized in my shop since I'm doing a variety shop now. Uh, but I saw they kept advertising. I thought, you know, they've got that opening for a variety. I might try that. So I am in a mall now. I've been in the malls before. Um, and I really enjoy it because it does bring you a lot of customers. So if you can get your shop up in size and get in a mall, uh, that would be one of my main goals, especially if you like to restock. Uh, oh, gosh, i got to wait. My Everything's ending. I'm trying to do it differently and my books are ending in seven what i'm doing is when you order by cost it will show up in your shop as uh every everything that's 140 will be together see everything that's that but i have to figure out how to get all of my uh my stuff ending together once i get all my prices done right now i'm ending things in different numbers so i can go back and and try to get them as close to the same price ending in that number and all it's organized in my head i know it doesn't make sense but it is all right so i got me a small pudding this morning and um all of my food is ending in nine so i think uh i have to go to the cancer center next week so what i'm going to do is um Price these a little bit higher. See, I'm going to do it at $11.99. Just so that my shop doesn't get empty while I'm gone. But hey, if it gets empty, that's good. I'll restock as soon as I'm back. 
are. And we're going to do this at 2899. And what you want to do, I may change this if it's a, I think it's on up to around 3000. Yeah, it is. But I'll keep it at 2899. Um, but always check this uh, on, click on, uh, if you have this um, added to your, I got this off of Reddit, um, uh, I forget what it's called, but it really helps me and I can quickly access everything. And I like to click on, I'm going to do it with this one, you see these are 3,350. Sometimes, I know that's to be about right, though, the average, but sometimes you can look at full price history if you're unsure. And let's say um, it's been 5000 5000 a lot, then I would have priced it up a little bit higher because I know I will eventually get that. And since I am shooting uh, for some high interest rates in my bank account, I do want to get the most that I can. But I also want to be a fair new opium, and so I want people to be able to afford it. And what I'm going to do is do this one at 2899. Now, normally when I had my, when I wasn't in the mall, when I had mine, I always was right up here, right up very first I tried to be. Um, you can't always be because it fluctuates. Somebody else comes to your price and they want to be, you know, uh, lower than you. So if you have something expensive, what I do is I try to check on those every so often so I can lower their price uh, if somebody else has put something ahead of mine. Now, uh, what did I say this was? 2000 So what I'm going to do here is just do the... And I'll lower all these when I get back from the Cancer Center. It's just that I kind of like to have... Um, and that comb is going to be 2900 because I'm ending. My two keeps, y'all are going to get lucky here in a minute. Somebody is, it gets something real cheap because my two isn't working. And then the red bikes are, are really cheap. But I like to try to keep, oh, I've sold my other bikes, it looks like. Uh, I like to keep things that are very quest items. That is one of the main way that you draw people to your shop. Every day, there's the quest board. People are looking up shops to buy quest items. So it's very important. Um, let's see what my toys are ending in. What are my toys ending in? I had my notepad open here. Where my notepad? It had all my things. Y'all have to forgive me. Uh, one of the things that happened with my when I got cancer is... I got what they called chemo brain. I had 17 months of it. And it what chemo does, it kills all of your cells. <laughs> and uh, my husband, Kidsman, says, well, she didn't have many up there to begin with, but it really does. But I have eight. Okay, my toys are in an eight. And the like I said, the reason I do this is because I am going to go back and try to get it all organized and when I end them in that number then I, it's easier for me to look you know get them all going okie dokie artichokey this one I'm going to do at 109 and then my grooming and my clothing are both going to end in zero and we're going to go ahead and do that at the lowest get us some customers up in here I sniped this yesterday, so I'm going to put it at 8999. Um, but just, you know, I'm going to just show you how I do this. So I wanted to show you a few of these. Um, 1099 on that one. And, uh, Let's see, I'll, I'll trying to think of how exactly I make all my nail points. When I get through with this, I will, uh, let's see, I'll try to do as many as I can because what happens is, but I may need to show y'all something on here, so I'll stop using my wheels before it runs out. Um,
And my books are ending in seven. I think that's about the average for corn. We'll check it and see. 23.75. So what we're going to do here is go uh, 2377. Seven. And we'll be the third in line. Unless somebody gets a little higher than me. Um, well, I need to price all my eyeshadows while I'm in here. So, uh, four thousand. So, it's really up in price right now. Since it's normally four thousand, I'm just going to go ahead and be the highest until somebody goes lower. <laughs> All right, now my eyeshadows. Let me grab this one up. See if she's got anything else. This is the Shop of Amazement. Very good pricing. Shout out to Heartless 2012. Alright, Heartless, let's see what else you got on here. Okay. Um, so we go back here, and I'm going to price this at, what do we say here? That is 2100 which is about the average for that one. So 2100 it will be. And then the Earth Fairy eyeshadow, which is what I have on my Earth Fairy. But I have the Bewildering makeup right now. Normally I have this. And it is really pretty. I really do love this. Let's see. I think the average price is 3000 Yep. Yeah. Um, so I'm going to get down here and do it at... 2900 just so I have some in my shop. Like I said, I'm going to lower my prices uh, to be first. On, that's what I normally do. I try to be first unless somebody's just outrageously too cheap. And in that case, I usually go and buy it and then, then I'm first. Um, so this one I'm going to do. 3100. That's a really... All these eyeshadows I love. Um, I use on my pets. And let's see what this is a real pretty color, and it's usually 3400. So I'm just gonna do 33. Give somebody a little, and here goes um, one of the cards that you need to keep in your shop as well. I try to keep it in here, and it is usually around 3500. And I'm gonna be 3400. And then, and all of this is, um, well, except for some of my food items. My food items are, uh, most of those are Kitchen Quest items. Um, so, anytime y'all have a quest, check my shop out because I'm telling you, I usually have. Now, when I'm just doing food, um, I have smoothies. I have the smoothies and slushies. So, if you ever need a smoothie or slushie, I usually have it. And I usually have it at the very cheapest price. Like I said, right now, I'm just trying to keep stuff in here till I get back from the cancer center. Now, this one I'm going to put at 22 No. Let's do $21.99. Because my food ends in nines. And this right here, I think, is uh, really cheap. Yeah. So, the black cherry pudding, I'm just going to put it at... 29 and nothing hey hey okay let's see now he's usually about 55 yeah 56 so I think we're gonna do 54 for him and eventually those others are gonna sell because um, this is a uh, avatar car, I believe. I'm not sure if I can't remember. But anyhow, let's see. It's been so long since I was on an avatar kick. Let's see. I need to get some some more. But my goal right now is getting my sh my uh, points up. But I also need my to finish my fairy album. And then I need to, um, I'm feeding gourmet food every day to Sherico till she gets the trophy as well. And this right here will be, uh, let's see, 
to five o. Then we got the yu yo, yu yo ball. I really love, used to love playing the yu yo ball. Right now, my joints tend to ache if I uh, do too much on the computer. So I don't know. Last last year, I definitely did not get to. I only got the participation because I didn't play but just a few games. But hopefully this year I'll get to play more. Now this is usually this is usually higher than that. Okay, so it's up right now. Um do this at fifty eight. Right now. Yeah. Fifty eight nine nine. Um see they're outrageously high here that's but the price is going up that's good but you can usually find these um, in the uh, Altadorian shop which I like to shop other places rather than the food shop because everybody's in the food shop and I totally cannot grab that stuff as fast all right All right, we've got one more item here. That's that fiberboard potion. Let's see how much this came down because some stuff I'll save till it goes back up. Oh yeah, we gotta save this one, so we're not even gonna worry about doing that one. I'm gonna take it and put it in my safety deposit box. Whoop, I didn't remove one. Silly, silly me. Okay. Um. And now I'll go to my inventory. And let's see, I've got a lot of items. I'm going to do a quick stock here. And stock all of these except for that's getting deposited. And um, that is going into the gallery. I keep stuff that I'm going to sell, stuff that's going to go up in my uh, item gallery under my for sale section. Okay, so I do that every day. Every day I do my uh, uh, daily quest. When you get in here, look for a gray card. Gray or holographic are the most expensive. After that, uh, I believe it is the pink and then the purple. And then your others are, well, the green and reds are... Um, usually for the fairy quest so I try to get uh, seems like this one is a one that I, I sell a lot of because that's asked for a lot in the quest boards really go to the quest boards and just familiarize yourself um, with items that they ask for daily and if you keep those items stocked you are going to sell items in your shop. So this video may just be on how to make money in your shop. <laughs> but one of the best ways is, um, like I said, just keep your shop with quest items. Uh, or, and I, normally what you would do is uh, just have one category that you really like to sell. I like to sell stuff that um, is just like one use items. Food, cards, stamps. Um, those kind of things because uh, and the fairy quest items and uh, people they, they have to eat so my main thing I did was buy food I don't see there's probably oh quickle straw man is one too but yeah that's some of the prices on these but I go here um, let's see I think the stamp shop that's my collectible card the post office. I keep these open. I check, you know, but I'm never as fast, uh, fast enough to get the stamps I really want. Let's see, that's twelve hundred, and they're asking nineteen. So you always, always want to check your price. And if you go to Reddit, Reddit, and uh, you see, there are tools, but you have to watch. Um, I think this is Dicer Roll, maybe, that I got this from, and that's well, he's well trusted. Um, 
I do my food club for him as well. That is one thing you want to do too to make food. To, I mean, <laughs> to make nail points. Um, and what I do is I go here, and I go Reddit nail pets food club July twelfth, twenty twenty four. Enter. Then it's going to come up for today's food club. First thing I'm going to do is collect my winnings. I won 319842 I'm going to collect those. You make big money off of this. Now, every day I go here and uh, I go down to his table. And once you go down to his table, you click this number right here. You go to your capped. And you'll, if you hadn't done this before, I think you put your maximum bet. I bet 11,848 per game. There's my first game. It's very easy to do. I mean, my first bet. And then you just keep doing this all the way down till you have your 10. And do it daily. Daily, I make hundreds of thousands of Neo points. And uh, just multiply how much I spend, 11,000. I'm just betting uh, right at a hundred thousand. I don't even know. <laughs> I am not good at math, even though I work for the census. It was mostly talking and uh, um, doing the uh, surveys with people. I did the CPS survey for the nation, where. Yeah, keep a household in for eight months, and I loved my work, and I hope to one day get back to it. Now, this is my gallery, and if you if you come across items that you might be going up in price, let's say stuff that we're getting from the daily quest, these daily quests are going to rotate, and when they do, this stuff is going to go back up. These are going to go back up eventually. Uh. All of this stuff is going to go back up. So I save it. And then I have stuff in here that I'm selling right now. Uh, and you can look in my... Uh, because this wasn't in the Daily Quest. But the bag that it comes out of. The cook bag. Uh, I forget what it's called. Was in the Daily Quest. And therefore you're seeing a lot of these for sale right now. So got me one. And when that goes back up. I hope it goes back up to its original price. And, uh, but I have some of this stuff in here for sale. And, uh, in my trading trades right now. And it's just stuff that I acquired. Let me go to my inventory. And go up here and go to the trading post. And, uh, these are just a few things. I don't like to put that many at one time because I do like to restock. And if I'm restocking, I can't really, excuse me, I cannot really uh, put that many items in my inventory. It messes me up. I might have something good. Uh, so, All right, guys, it has been 30 minutes on here. I was just going to cover some of the ways that you get uh, shop in your shop. Uh, I keep this Oh, Oh, my goodness, how much is Illusion Quick Cookies? Only 800. You would think that would be more. Um, really, just grabbing good stuff out of here, uh, the toy shops. Um, because all these items, take a look at the quest items. I really like to stay in this shop. I usually have every smoothie there is um, when I'm doing just my food shops. See, that's worth $29.50. Um, it's selling, so you could make a thousand. But I have plenty of these right now. I'm just wanting to get to the end of the. It's summertime, and so I thought, you know, I'd stay in the cold shops, um, you know, and keep my. Keep it stock. That's not going to be anything in and in twenty five hundred is never going to be an expensive item. Uh, I found. Um, you can look at the prices when you first come in. You may see something. Get your little thing from the Reddit. Um, oh, I was going to show y'all how to do that. 
Okay, I got this from Reddit. You go to Reddit Neopets Guides. Now, um, I only trust from this page right here. And so, these are, you go down here and you have, there's a restocking section. And you can read all about restocking and uh, stuff right there. And what I love are the user scripts. Um, how did I, I forget which one this is. Quick stock junk high water. It's one of these. You just have to look through it and or ask or something. But anyhow, this is where I got it. Um, it may have been under offsite. No, that's offsite too. My bad. This is something that you can do offsite. And um, but I do trust. Uh, who is it? I like to get stuff from. Wait a minute. User scripts. Uh, you dice row. That's who I like to use. So, uh, maybe search helper. I believe this is it right here. Yes, this is it. It adds for your inventory, all that. So, you want to uh, download that definitely. I believe that's the one. And if it's not, y'all put a note under this video. I did want to go that long, just in half an hour. Today was just kind of showing you how to make. I'm just really going off the top of my head. So I'm going to have to really sit down and write a list of things I want to go over before I just get in and just jump on and I'm going from subject to subject. Um, because I do tend to do that. I'm on a lot of pain medication and I'll talk nonstop. <laughs> but anyhow, um, that is... We're going to call it a day on this video. And I really hope that I get people watching my videos because I have nothing else to do. <laughs> All right, fellow Neopians. Uh, I'm going to leave you here with the smoothie store. Y'all go get some smoothies today because people, oh, what are berries are worth? Um, yeah, 2000 and something. And I like to get these because these are are one of the main things oh, you she usually takes that but today she's been very ornery okay so y'all go shop have some fun play neopets don't forget to do your daily quest every day don't forget to get to that hospital let me see how much there's my day there's your daily quest log this week I'm gonna be getting a pretty pink Eastern egg and I've never once just canceled a quest either. I've done these since day one. I kept thinking maybe you're going to get something for always doing them, but no. Um, but anyhow, let me go up here and uh, go to JN Home and see how much time I'll have left in the hospital before I get off. Where's the... It did have the hospital link on the main page. Uh, Right here's where I had it. Neil Hospital Volunteer Center. See, I'm fixing to do my timer to get back on in exactly two hours. And I suggest y'all do that too if you want to get the maximum you can get. I haven't gotten the maximum yet because <laughs> I keep forgetting. So I decided yesterday I was going to do a timer. So, anyhow, y'all go play, have fun, make Neil points. Much love and good vibes to all.